am a young person tasked with the Buy a Brick campaign, which is a crowdfunding campaign to mobilize all Africans across all races, across all classes, to join us as we build the Tabon Begu Presidential Library. Now, today's video is not about that. Today, we are saying, let's build our continent. Let's build Africa together. At the Tabon Begu Foundation, we have decided to engage a few young people who are change agents. We want to know how they plan to build our African continent using their passion, their talents, their work. How are they going to be part of the solution? So this holiday season, we want you to have fun, but we also want you to reflect how you can play your part in helping us build our continent. In fact, if you are a young person watching this, we want you to get involved. Tell us, how do you say, building Africa in your home language. This should be fun, but also just show us the lovely, rich diversity that's in our land. We are so excited to be building Africa with you. So I'll start, Saka e Africa. So I hope you guys enjoy these interviews with these young people, and I hope they inspire you to play your part so that you can be part of the solution. <laughs> Today, we are having our first interview. We are chatting with Solomzi Molegedi. Let me tell you a bit more about Solomzi. Solomzi was born in Soweto, raised in Johannesburg, and he completed his high school in New York City. In 2017, he developed and founded Black Block, an art development program aimed at empowering young artists in Africa. He recently obtained his Bachelor of Arts in Fine Arts at the University of Witwatersrand. I'm a Witsi, so hello! And also, he is now set off to start his Masters in Fine Art in Singapore. How amazing! So we have been working closely with Solomzi here at the Tabon Begi Foundation, you know, setting up exhibitions and discussions so that we can build a community that is enriched with academic discourse and fine art. I'm super excited for this one. Let's go! We're going to start this interview. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this, Solom Z. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know that you are busy, you are packing, you are going to Singapore. So thank you so much for taking your time. I know how valuable your time is. So I would like to get straight into it. I'm sure you have, you know, um, seen that we are really wanting to inspire young people and just Africans in general to play a part and be part of the solution as we build Africa. So us really investigating, do we as young people have a role in building Africa or are we just, you know, waiting for our elders, our leaders to build this continent for us? So really honing in and just trying to establish our role as people, as young people, how can we um, help ourselves build this Africa? So we are saying hashtag building Africa. So my first question, my first question, what does building Africa mean to you? Oh, uh, it's a very broad and dense question. I think building Africa uh, almost means everything because it is, well, it is my home and it is the place where I draw all my inspiration from and all my life from. So uh, I would like to say it is the most critical thing that we can do and it requires a very, very uh, I would almost call it academic approach because it, it has so many aspects and it needs research and it needs institutions and it needs so much because we've seen how much we've lost. So we now need to move forward. And yes, it is the most important mission. And can you say it in your home language? Can you say building Africa in your home language? <laughs> ah, it's building Africa. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> But what language <laughs> would you try and attempt to say it in? Like another African language well, you'd try? Uh, this, exactly. this is gonna this is gonna, gonna cash me <laughs> and sell it hobo, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> 
Now you are an artist. You know, we've seen um, your incredible work. We have seen you donate to the Tawa Mbedi Presidential Library. And I can recall you know, your art really telling African stories, talking about the bloodshed around gender-based violence and how it cannot continue. So you make sure that your art tells stories. So why do you think it's important for us to be able to tell our stories um, and, and, and perhaps using art in, in, in it? Uh, I think it's very important to use art to tell, firstly, the stories that come from home, because what we found is that if we don't tell the story, someone else will tell it for us. Yeah. And it, they may tell it incorrectly because they don't know what's happened. And one of the sad uh, facts is that um, due to the fact that there was everything from book banning to, of course, the banning of the arts during the apartheid times, there were very few ways to preserve our history. And so it has become almost one of the most important uh, missions of our generation to collect and tell stories, stories that are now only told through oral tradition because that is the only means by which they were passed down. Yeah. There are so many of these moments in history where we have existed and we have been so proud and so beautiful that have just slipped away and we've been lost amongst the chaos. So I think there are so many important reasons that we need to carry these stories forward and also be in, begin creating our own stories that we can be proud of. Yeah, I love what you said about, you know, us telling the African stories, telling stories from home, because if we don't tell our stories, someone else will tell it for us and they can choose what story they tell. So that's absolutely incredible. And I think it ties back to what we are trying to achieve with the Tabon Baby Presidential Library to say we are preserving our history, because when you know your history, you can begin to answer the question, who are you? And when you know who you are, you can then be able to determine who you can be. So it's absolutely important for us to be able to preserve our history. So how important is it for us to be able to preserve our history? Why is it important to you? And, 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 and how do we then get young people to participate, particularly looking at the Biobrick campaign that allows young people to get involved and help us build the Tamambeli Presidential Library? Why is it important for you, for us, all of us as Africans to create institutions um, that preserve our history? I think it's very important because we see so many other institutions, be it, say, uh, the Witz Art Museum, which I'm very, very uh, well versed within because that's where I study. But then as you study in places such as that, you learn about the histories, about the times when there was such severe gatekeeping preventing Black intellectuals from entering certain spaces. So for us to actually create and conceive such a space, it is important for us to then affirm it with our art and with our words and, and pack it with our books and our stories. So I think it is, yes, it is paramount. So you would encourage people to buy a brick, would you? Oh yes, of course I would encourage, <laughs> yes, I would encourage <laughs> everyone to buy bricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a and, and let me just tell now I know you are a graduate from Bits. I'm a bit see myself, so. What were you doing at Bits, and what's next for you? Let us know. So I um, I was finishing my honors in fine art, painting and art history, and I will be pursuing my masters at LaSalle College of the Arts in Singapore, which I'm really exciting, is excited to do. Yeah. It's going to be an entirely new space. I'll be exposed to a lot of uh, different techniques, teachings and histories, which I hope to then, of course, bring home and find ways to integrate and use to help preserve and enrich our art locally. So. Yeah, That's I'll be traveling abroad, but it's <laughs> to come home. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. The fact that you get to now take our African stories, African art and technique to the world, to Singapore. That's absolutely incredible. And I love what you're saying. You're able to bring also the things that you're going to be exposed to here you, you're, you're able to bring that back home so that's super super incredible and i hope you'll be coming back how long are you there for so the program is 18 months so i'll be uh, studying for a minimum of 18 months and then yeah i'll see what uh what opportunities i can bring back home with me so, so you're yeah. coming back <laughs> you better come yeah. back oh, yeah. <laughs> Now it is the festive season, you know, and we know that um, 
we see an increased number of roadside accidents due to substance abuse. You know, we, we, we have people, you know, just really celebrating. And for us at the foundation, we want to say to people, yes, happy holidays, but remember to be responsible, you know, um, and, and just, you know, be mindful um, in the middle of a fourth wave um, due to COVID. So being able to have that responsible fund um, for us is super important. But we want to know what message do you have for young people for these holidays? Uh, I think, yeah, it's the same message I had for the last set of holidays, which is, of course, to be safe, be careful, be kind, and just find good ways to celebrate the lives we have. Because yeah. as we know, this COVID experience has made us really grateful for the little things. So let's continue to appreciate and love those little things, such as the arts, <laughs> which of are available. <laughs> so, yeah. And of course, now tell young people, tell Africans, you know, um, how they can build Africa. Let's hear that call to action from yourself. Uh, greetings, everyone. I'd just like to really, really encourage everyone to build Africa through its institutions and buying a brick with the Tabumbeki Foundation is the exact sort of plan of action we need to make sure that the future holds the history that we live at the moment, the proud, the welcoming and the building history, the, the history that we are building as we grow as Africans. So everyone buy a brick, let us build this institution and let us build this continent together so that black futures are ensured. Thank you so much. Yes, we are building Africa, Sakai Africa, Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Thank you, Solomzi. Thank you so much for your time and all the best for Singapore. And yeah, um, we're super excited and we are proud of you as a foundation. And we want to just say thank you for donating um, some of your art um, to the foundation because I know that you are you headed up um, Black Block um, and, and, and you going to Singapore means you have to um, hand that baton to someone else. So I hope it, you know, it goes even stronger, it grows and, and we'll be here as the foundation to support you guys and to really be behind you because we've seen COVID the one sector that was really impacted by the lockdown or just by the pandemic in general was the arts. And that's when we, you know, we started to appreciate art and, you know, just being grateful for it. So, you know what, we are going to be here. We're going to be um, supporting Black Bloc and we wish it all the best and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat to us.